Hey Anarcho-Agonions, I'm a 20-year-old autistic anarchist man in a rather difficult situation to do with friendship. This is going to be a long post, so bear with me. A few years ago, at a demonstration, I bumped into someone I vaguely knew from my first high school. This person is deaf and dumb. Does dumb mean... I can't speak. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I think I knew that, but just want to also mm. qualify. Uh, but confirm. And may have learning difficulties. I don't think I'm going to say where they're from that says that here, but I don't think that's of importance. No. We communicate through uh, BSL finger spelling. Over the years, it has become apparent to me, though, this person's behavior that they fail to understand and apply consent. Often he touches me on the shoulder and tries to initiate a game of TIG. I do not want to play TIG with him and have made this clear on multiple occasions. Often he initiates form of camaraderie that, I make, that make me feel uncomfortable, such as hugging me when I don't want to be hugged. One time we went swim, swimming and in the sauna he put his arm around me. I made clear that I did not want to be touched in that way. His response was, why not? As if I have to give reasons for not wanting to be touched. Frequently he says it as a joke when he touches me in these days. I do not like it. In my interactions with this person, I have come to realize that communicating with sign language should be seen in the same way as you would any other conversation. As an autistic man, I generally don't like and I'm not good at social chit-chat. Often the kind of people I like to spend time with are people that, that leave me in peace to do my own thing or who just quietly keep me company. This is not the case with this individual as he talks at me when I do not necessarily want to have a conversation. Due to the fact that I spend, spending time with this person makes me feel uncomfortable because of the lack of consent, I do not want to be friends with them. At the same time, I sympathize completely with the fact that it can't be an easy life being deaf and dumb, as human beings were all desperate for a connection with others and that cannot be understated. I understand that for him, much of what he's trying to do is establish bonds. However, I'm not comfortable with being touched when I don't consent to touching. This all gets more complicated when I factor in experiences that I've had with friendship. A few years ago, there was a girl that I was friends with that I developed strong feelings for. We did something physical together. It became clear that nothing romantic was going to come of it, which was fine. I made clear that I really wanted to try salvage the friendship because we were really close. Later, she abruptly st stopped talking to me without giving me a reason why and the friendship ended. I experienced severe depression as a result of this. With this experience in mind, I really do not want to be hurt this person. I really don't want to hurt this person the way that I was hurt. I am considering writing this person a letter outlining how I feel, but I want to do so tactfully and I don't want to be brutal about it. Any advice would be much appreciated. It, I don't know, the, the way it seems to me like in that last paragraph that, that you're saying that you're gonna want to try and write this letter, the way that you outlined all of these paragraphs to me, that it seems like this is the letter. Yeah, writing letters is a great idea, and everything you're saying is super valid and super compassionate, and you seem like a really cool person. Seriously, can we be friends? Yeah, but like, yeah, like you said, you want to be their friend, and you've tried to articulate to them that you don't want to be touched this way, and they're not respecting that. And like, did they? <clears throat> You say may have learning difficulties because I do understand like <clears throat> that if someone is neurodivergent they might find it harder to understand issues of consent. However, that is not an excuse. That is an explanation and something that might mean they need to explain to them in a kind of more clear and maybe repetitive way. But yeah, you you say that you've you've like tried to approach them about this, that you've made yourself quite clear that this is not an okay thing with you, that you want to be your friend, but you don't want to be touched when you don't want to be touched. I mean, Jesus, it sounds like you've done everything perfectly. And yeah, if you need to, yeah, like Mariam said. it's so beautiful the way that you kind of explain the feelings of alienation and how mm -hmm. rejection can really, you know, make the person defensive and so they completely disappear out of your life. And that's not necessarily what you want at all, it seems like. Like, you, like up until a certain point, you do enjoy this person's uh, presence and you guys seem to have adventures together and that's really great. I don't know, like, it, it's so tricky because it seems to me like only a, a letter where you describe yeah. everything the way that you have here would be of utility and I, I, I cannot see how the person wouldn't get that. And again, okay, the way that I would perhaps offered to phrase that letter, which I think is a really great idea that you mm -hmm, already have, definitely. is perhaps like, well, not game five, but, but like basically be like, like maybe bullet point it a little bit and be like, okay, so targets and or new suggestions are of how do we do this? So it's not like, you know, and so this is that, this is now up to, you know, up to, like you have 
this letter from me, that's it, that's that done. Now we go like, okay, up to suggestions and or goals as to how we overcome this, mm. you know? And so you give a bunch of like things of, 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 you know, how can they approach this? And perhaps if like they don't do it in this particular way that many times, then that's that for you, you know? Which is kind of a bit tricky to be like, okay, so you do this three times, I'm out. But you know, like sometimes, I mean, I do in my fucking poly relationships. I do, I literally go like, yeah, these are certain points within a certain time frame and and or um, if you do those things that many times like I will go into this next level Which will be way less trustful, you know, so I think that's a really good idea And I also think because you care about this person and because they might struggle with this I think doing that but also in, sorry also yeah. including like positive reinforcement like these are ways in which I like to be engaged with if you do these It'd be really great like this like you know, like, I don't particularly like when you do this. However, I love it when you do this. And that makes me feel super wanted. And it makes me really want to spend time with you. And, like, really emphasize that you all the ways in which you value them and want to be their friend and all the ways in which they will and do and can bring you joy. Yeah, and bring up certain memories that you have together yeah. that you would like to share and have more of those particular ones, but perhaps less of those, you know? Yeah. And, like, I mean, as someone who is autistic, I guess you also... Um, I mean, I, don't, I know all versions of autism are different, but um, I know some people really value like concrete, like being given concrete explanations like, I like it when you do this. So you, like you might also be particularly good at understanding that like, okay, I particularly like this, I particularly don't like this, I would really love it if you did this and not this, and like they might really value that. And yeah, it, it sounds like you're really sympathetic and cool and compassionate and care for this person. I don't really know what to like suggest. Are you, yeah. I feel like you're better than us yeah. at, like dealing yeah, with this. Because sure. normally I'm like, oh, I didn't like that phrase or something. Literally, I'm like, well, like not gonna reply to your messages for for like five yeah. days because you said that. You know? But you're just you're on point. You're really in, great. And yeah, the fact that you related it to previous things, and maybe even say that like I really value our friendship. And I don't want to go this way. However, these things are a hard line for me. For those reasons, so, yeah. historically as well, you know, like, and really, and I know, oh, this is so tricky, but like, and I mean, this is a different sort of example, but I have to do this to myself as well. Like, sometimes my friends are going through, like, really deep spots of, like, depression and stuff, and they end up being tickets uh, we'll say that you know there and and you try and make excuses for them and you know you still have to arrive to the point eventually it's just like yeah you can only have that many excuses until you become a terrible person as such and i've gone through you know being fucking stepped over pretty much abused by a couple of my friends just because they were yeah sure they were going through terrible times and 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 all of that but at the end of it i was just like i was a shell of a human being because of them and i would be terrified to even be in the same room with them you know and 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 in the end i had to rid of those relationships and it's sad that we got to that point but it was also like and to people i will say i have tried and tried and tried but never got to anywhere but like yeah, like one person only has that many excuses, you know? Any person, I think so. Yeah. Obviously, you know, literally, if you find someone that is like you know, the hot, rich, attractive, and, they, and they're, they're a dick, I will have way less of a time for them than there's someone that is actually going through issues as such. And it seems like but you already But so many people use that. going through issues as an excuse for getting away with shit. Like, I had, a very, as you know, very similar experiences to you, and I ended up having to leave the friendship and my home and the country I was living in because of it and but that's also because I actually didn't take the step that you took I was actually always too scared to outline my needs and my values and what was important to me and what was a hard line for me and I don't think it would have been different if I'd done that but the person had a very different different set of issues as this person but yeah you sound like you're approaching it from a super compassionate and cool way and like thank you so much I really. guess we don't have any advice only like you got this and like good luck and yeah like Marianne's idea of doing the the letter with the the kind of gamification I think is a really useful thing because like targets and objectives are a very like nice way of like I, I do my, my, my thinking in lists and in like you know excel spreadsheets I think it's I think it can be really useful yeah yeah and a lot of relationships actually kind of rely on that and that that's okay that's okay, you know, like, it's kind of a shame, like, sometimes there's been this whole discourse as of late, right, about, like, emotional labor and, like, should you be sending a message to a person 
about sending a message to them and stuff like that, you know, like, can I send you a message that will potentially maybe upset you, that will be a message about something else, and we all take the piss out of it or whatever, you know, obviously, though, to be fair, we talk about like this to some of our friends that do require that, which is absolutely fine, except that some of the times that is now put towards, you know, all of the conversations that sh should be had, and that's a shame. What I'm trying to say is that we shouldn't market, like, marketalize? What's the word? Like, uh, commercialize? Like, commor I thought, yeah, I guess. Commodify. Commodify our, our relationship. So I don't, but I don't think achievements, like unlocking of achievements no, is that. No, that's <laughs> not that. That's like about specific things within a re like yeah, relationship. Yeah. Like, I really love it when you do this. I don't like it as much when you do that. Yeah. Like, yeah. The negotiations, yeah. Yeah, there's a difference between like, rules for engagement and like, hey, these things would make me really happy. Yeah. Good luck.